Okay, so with this one, so I did the wooden canvas, but this one's a 10 by 20 actual canvas, not wooden. And I wanted to do it on here as well, because if you don't want to add the lights and you just want to do a simpler version with the vinyl, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, I'm still going to reuse, because I always mix a lot of paint. <laughs> I'm still going to use the same colors, which was black, um, the Folk Art Color Shift, Aqua Flash, and this Artist Loft Blue. And I think it's going to turn out really pretty. Because the one on the wooden one turned out really cool. So I think I'm just going to use up all the paint. And I got left for this 10 by 20 canvas. And that way, we get it all used up. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to flip it onto here. Just gonna make sure you guys are still in frame. Yep. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be version two of the Christmas deer with the trees, just a long version. And I'm just going to. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Very pretty. So I usually torch just before I start tilting to pop them bubbles. It helps pop the silicone bubbles and you get more cells. And hopefully we got enough uh, paint on this canvas. Ooh, it's super stretched out. <laughs> That's okay though, I don't mind it. Because it's a backdrop, a nice nighttime scene backdrop to the vinyl. Could almost be like northern lights in the back. And you can keep tilting it and stretching it however you like. I think I'm going to bring that flash up to the top so it is kind of like a northern lights coming kind of across there. Give it another torch. Beautiful. So I'm just going to cover up the sides because usually the corners, you always got to give it a little extra paint. And with this, you're gonna let it. I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna apply that uh, tree and deer vinyl to this but also do a few stars and stuff so I think it'll look really cool so that's gonna take a few days to dry and then we'll come back and I will show you guys how we apply this vinyl but it'll be in white so it'll show up really nice 
Okay, so the canvas one, this is all dry now. And it looks so beautiful. See if you can see the shimmer from uh, the nice aqua flash in there. I've cleaned it off um, with some isopropyl alcohol to get the silicone off. And now I'm just going to apply some Liquidex gloss to the entire canvas. This just helps to seal the paint in. And if you have any areas that are still have some silicone on it, it's going to reject this Liquidex gloss. So it'll help you to know um, that there's still some areas that need some cleaning. Before I apply the vinyl, I would like I need to know that the silicone is all off, cleaned off. So that's why I'm going to apply a layer of Liquidex gloss on here first just by itself. And don't forget to do the sides. But the cells turned out really pretty. Super stoked with the cells on this one. Just gonna get the sides here. I like how dark and deep it is but it still has some dimension. Because I wanted it to be like a nighttime sky scene. So these colors really worked well together. Alright, just got to get some on the sides on this side. <laughs> Those were all over the place. Alright, there's a coating of Liquidex gloss. Beautiful. So I'm not too worried about keeping the brush strokes to a minimal because I'll be applying another layer of Liquidex gloss in order to apply the vinyl. But that looks super good. So I gotta let this dry. I can see a little bit of grease coming through so actually there's a little bit up here that I missed. <laughs> always good to like shine it in the light a bit and you can see where you kind of miss putting some gloss on if you can hear a squeaky toy that is my puppy Casper <laughs> there we go beautiful so I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back and keep going alright guys so here is the canvas I poured, all dry, and it's been coated with the Liquidex Gloss One Coat. I just want to show you how gorgeous the, I got better, a little bit better lighting here, <laughs> how gorgeous the beautiful flash color is and the shininess. So I love these ones, um, including the wooden one, because it looks like the northern lights in behind the trees and stuff so it's gonna be super exciting especially with these colors that I poured with so loving the effect that came out with it now I covered it with Liquidex gloss just to make sure that all the silicone was gone um, and before I apply the vinyl so here is the vinyl cutouts for this size they're a little bit higher I did them like 10 by 0.4 inches high uh, for the trees just so you had some to curve oh that one's upside down <laughs> curve over the edges uh, it's probably hard to see these but you saw the printout and so this I'm going to show you how to apply the vinyl to canvas instead of the wood um, you can peel these trees off however you like. You can stick them however close or far you want from each other um, when you peel them off. So, But this is how they'll come if you want to order them pre-cut uh, on my website, craftygenart.com. And so I'm using some more Liquidex gloss varnish. I just put it in this squeeze bottle because I only had a little bit left. 
So I'm going to use this Liquidex gloss varnish to make sure that these now vinyls adhere to the canvas. Now unlike the wooden one, which I wasn't worried because I poured resin over top of the whole thing, I'm not going to pour resin over this. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, so that's why I want the vinyl to really adhere. Now they are sticky, but they can fall off, so that's why we're going to use the varnish. But before that, well, do I want stars? I was going to paint stars and flick them on, but I think... Do I do it before or after? <laughs> See, sometimes I'm working my process out with you guys. So, because I was just going to mix up some white paint with a little bit of Floetrol and flick some stars on. But I think I might just paint them in after. So I have them strategically placed. <laughs> but one way of doing it is you can mix up some white paint with a little bit of water, a little bit of Floetrol. You put it on a brush and then you kind of just do this. And it would flick stars, like little white dots everywhere. Uh, that's one way of doing it. But I think I'm going to go in and actually take the time to paint it. So, so here's how I'm going to apply these vinyls. So this one is for this side, but like I said, you can put them any which way you like. So I'm just going to do it one side at a time. I'm going to apply some varnish onto the canvas. just like so. So it already has one coat of varnish but I'm just applying another one so that we can really adhere the vinyl. So I'm just peeling off one of the trees and I'm gonna stick it I'm sticking it in the varnish wet in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> So the varnish is still wet. I'm just applying it in the wet varnish. Just folding the edges over. Beauty! There's one tree. <laughs> Do another one. So I just peel the trees right off. Um, they're pretty simple. Like I said, you can put them as close or as far away as you like. If you wanted to reposition, you could just, because the varnish is, a, is still wet, you could just peel it up. Although varnish, this varnish does dry quickly. Alright. Good to have a bit of paper towel. <laughs> because my fingers get sticky. And I still have varnish here. So I'll get my next tree. And stick it down. Right next to that skinny tree. And I'm just pulling it down a bit further. You can make them as... See, I want to come down a bit with that one. You can make them as crooked or as straight as you like. Like I said, you have a little bit of time as until the varnish dries. And then I just kind of push it down in that wet varnish. If I get a little varnish over top of the vinyl, I'm not too worried. It does dry. You won't even see it because it dries clear. So. so I might have to add a little bit more varnish just because it's starting to dry on the edge there now you can uh, if you wanted to after you apply your vinyl you could do a layer of resin over top of your canvas um, but make sure you have to support the middle with some cardboard and wood because resin is quite heavy and it'll definitely sink the middle part. 
if you don't support it. Okay. Let's wipe my fingers. I'm just going to get the edges so that these stick down. <laughs> Beautiful. And one more tree on this side. So this one for the 10 by 20 has way more trees than the 12 by 12, but that's because the canvas is so long. So. And I love how this looks like some northern lights in the sky. Just putting some varnish over the edge. <laughs> Beauty. So there's one side. I think it looks pretty good. And so that's one side. We'll get rid of those trees. And I think I might do the other side. So yeah, there's a lot more trees that I have for you with the 10 by 20. Um, they are 10. 0.4 inches high so and if these start to pop up just keep pushing them down they will stick down eventually they just need a little love <laughs> and I want to thank everybody that's been ordering these my vinyls um, I hope you are having all a blast creating with them I've been having a blast teaching on YouTube and sharing and everything, so I greatly appreciate you guys buying them and using them, and I hope you're having fun with your creative artworks. There's lots of different ways to use them with art, which I think is pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm just putting the vinyl part way and I'm gonna keep going and applying these trees but basically that's just how you do it is you just put some liquidix gloss varnish down and peel the vinyls off they're quite easy to get off and just stick them on there makes for a really fun Christmas artwork and you could even do the acrylic pour with your kids if you wanted to and then just apply the vinyls on top or get your kids to help you apply the vinyls they're like stickers and then it's like an art Christmas art project you guys did together so you can watch me keep going and then we'll get to the deer. Okay, so that's another way you can apply, like take the vinyl off, because this one has two branches. I just um, peeled off the bottom and slowly peeled it off so just if it's a more complicated tree <laughs> that's one way to uh, get it off and so just like these ones which are being a little bit stubborn I just keep trying to push them down now if it won't go down and you're finding that like as the Liquidex gloss is dry, it just won't stick down. You can put a little bit of Mod Podge under here and just stick the ends down. But the Liquidex gloss does get fairly sticky and tacky just as just before it's dry. So if you just wait, give it a few minutes, just like so. This one's sticking now, and then just stick it down. It should stay. Or like I said, just if it won't stay, grab a bit of Mod Podge and just glue her down. But those are all sticking pretty good. I should just make sure you guys are still in frame. 
because <laughs> I've been moving. Oh no, you're good. Been moving it around a bit. Oh, it looks so pretty. I love this color combo with these cells for the night scene. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the deer in the middle. So I'm going to add more gloss. And I'm just going to coat the whole thing so it gives it basically like a second coat of gloss for the painting. Because I've already second coated most of the sides anyways just to get the vinyl to stick down. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the deer. And last time I grabbed the deer for the wooden one by the butt, but I think I might try by the antlers. I do have a lot of sticky liquid X varnish on my fingers right now, <laughs> which is not helping. No, it's not going to go as good. So I'm going to pull up by the feet. If I can get all the feetsies off. Now some people in, that use Cricut cutting machines are going to be screaming because they're like, why don't you just use transfer tape? <laughs> well, the problem with transfer tape is because I have Liquid X gloss on here. And so it's not really easy to transfer. Although you could try transferring them um, with transfer tape onto dry canvas, but I find if I can just, there we go, it just takes a little bit of finessing and you can get the deer off. Okay, they are really stuck to me. So I'm going to put, oh, there we go, baby deer down. And what I shouldn't have done was touched so much of the sticky part. There we go. Okay. A <laughs> little bit of love and you can get it. So I'm just going to grab a popsicle stick so I can pull these up and push them down a bit better. Use whatever tools you need to. And I'm just going to maneuver my deer a bit because it is still on very wet uh, liquid X gloss. So you can kind of push them around a little bit. And like you can use a push pin to lift it up and readjust or whatever you have on hand. There we go. So I would say the deer are probably your most difficult part. But once they're in there, you can kind of manipulate them. So I, there we go, perfect. Yeah, so these are on a wet gloss, Liquid X gloss. And I wouldn't even worry, like, if you wanted to apply a bit of gloss over top of your vinyl, that's totally cool too. It just dries clear. So this one I'm just going to keep pushing down. But I might, we'll see, have to modge podge it. Oh, there we go. It seems to be sticking. Beautiful. Alright, so this is dry. Now it's time to just paint in some little stars. Now another thing you could do to do stars is add glitter. Um, this is one of my favorite glitters. It's uh, from Recollections. I got it at Michael's. It's really hard to read the label, 
but it's like um, it's extra fine glitter and it's like a all over color I think they call it like a confetti glitter almost but uh, it's got a whole bunch of different colors you could put little sprinkle little bits of glitter too if you wanted for stars um, but I'm going to use some paint I just need a little bit of white and because I'm painting it I didn't water it down with Floetrol uh, like you would if you wanted to spray it so I have a very tiny fine point little brush I'm just gonna go in and add some stars now you can do them all different kinds of sizes because stars are different size types so you can make a bigger star little star and then just keep picking up some paint You could even paint on a constellation that you know or love for the stars. Might also look like it's snowing with these because <laughs> some of them are a little big, but that's okay. Okay, I like it. Now you could just leave it without painting stars in. It kind of looks like snow actually falling, but that's okay. It's a winter scene. Um, you could add the glitter if you like. There's lots of different options for the stars or paint snow or whatnot, but I think it looks pretty awesome. So that is the Christmas Trees and Deer on canvas. And I think the only thing left is I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to do a few coats of Liquidex Gloss over the whole thing, including the vinyl. And that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I just greatly appreciate everybody that's been buying my vinyl cutouts. And I hope you're having lots of fun creating with them for either this or the silhouettes. And thank you so much for using my Amazon links. They, I get a little commission from them. They help out a lot. So thank you so much, guys. Have fun creating.